No, at the bottom of the actual stairs. Front door. Got, got, it. got it. Got it. Basement stairs. My wife, Lindsay, and I were looking for roommates, and so we figured the best way was over the internet, so Lindsay typed up a thing on Craigslist. I remember meeting Leela and Gabriel separately at the open house. I think Leela was one of the last people to come, like, the first day. I lived in Austin. I lived in Austin for five years. I worked at a radio station, hosted a public access TV show, worked at a TV station, worked at Whole Foods, worked at the Marriott, worked at Sheraton. Um, and then I decided to come to American University because I wanted to figure out how people get a grown-up job because I'd never had one of those. So that's why I started looking at grad schools. And she's also like super polite. I wasn't sure what to think about that. Like, I thought maybe I wouldn't be able to get to know her, but actually she's just a really polite person and, and she's really open. Gabriel is one of the last people to come the second day. I could tell that she's the one who had been doing all the emailing and had wrote the Craigslist ad. You know, it was just fun and lighthearted. And Gabriel stayed for a while and we talked to him for a while. In Japan, you always bring gifts when you go everywhere. So it's like, oh yeah, here's wine. Everybody likes wine, right? I think they liked it, I mean. And then, you know, we decided, okay, we all need to four have dinner together to see if this is gonna work. You know, usually, people that don't like me, at first, you know, I can kind of, I can kind of win them over after like an hour. Ted, Theodore, I still felt a little bit, I was like, okay, I think he still thinks I'm a creep. Hidden, yes. hidden in my own pocket. Oh, wasn't fully, I don't know. I don't know how I felt about Gabriel. I was actually, you know, kind of, I don't know. He was so different. Gabriel's just so different that I didn't know how I felt about him at first. I don't remember what I meant. Do you guys remember what we talked about? I remember we asked you guys questions. And Gabriel asked questions too. You made the socks. <laughs> you just asking kind of about What's how much we clean like? and what will our chore, yeah. By the end of the dinner though, I really felt good about both of them because uh, everyone seemed to really loosen up and get comfortable, and me and Gabriel started to talk about ideas we had, and we're both kind of tech geeks. This electroluminescent wire, and it's like flexible, and obviously it lights up, you know? He does photography and I do videos, so it really worked out, and we ended up talking about lots of really uh, fun stuff. <laughs> There's just something about the two of them that... I personally really, really liked. The spectrum, just like there is yeah. everyone else. But when yeah. you said she's the most... They're talking about <laughs> there's a range. what Gosh, level of foot you need to be to be oh, a lesbian. Oh, the funniest thing uh, I heard last uh, night None of them are lesbian. Will oh. and Josh. <laughs> uh, like, Theodore and Lindsay's favorite spies in the kitchen, you know? There was, there was quite a few times when I would just come downstairs and watch them interact in the kitchen. Theodore does busy work. He's he's just doing stuff like this, but he's doing it at, at twice the speed I'm doing. So he's just like all over the place. And it's what it looks like, right? Lindsay, she'll make these, she'll slave over these elaborate dinners, you know. That's a cry. She loves sharing. And Lindsay's like having fun and singing.
at that really long skinny park that stretched from like Chinatown all the way up to what's that street second there's the uh, parkway I think you're right. Did you see the butterfly? I couldn't. I saw it with my eyes, but the camera couldn't see it. It's a monarch. Beautiful. Gave us a little show. So, Theodore and Lindsay, I never lived with a married couple before. I lived with a couple before, and it was kind of, it was kind of sucky, you know. A lot of people are like, "Isn't it weird living in a group house because you're married?" And I, I, I don't think so. I like, I like living in group house. It's, I don't know. There's, you know, there's more going on. There's more people. There's more interaction. There's more things that, that happen. I was going into this really positive, and I, I met these guys, and it was just, it was really cool to see the love. Because it's there from the get-go. You can see it, the way they look at each other, and just their whole backstory. Okay. Do we trade? It's recording. Hey, Ted. Hey, Lindsay. It was like, oh, they're married. Like weeks later after moving in, I figured that one out. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many minutes I've spent just doing this to techno music. <laughs> you know, and I kind of bought it because I wanted to do some art projects with it because I have about 25 feet of it. And Theodore and I, we didn't really have much to do which is very rare for us. So we ended up in a living room with 25 feet of this stuff, lights off, we're, we're recording it with my camera, listening to like electro music, you know? Anyway. You guys just missed my whole life story in like two minutes. Ah! Oh, I think I've heard it. 